In this lecture, we'll see a C program to calculate gross salary of an employee. The formula for calculating gross salary is basic salary plus a few allowances like TA, DA, and HRA. Let's consider for this program, the value of TA is 4.5% of basic salary. For DA, it is 14.7% of basic salary. And for HRA, it is 7.4% of basic salary. So here I'm starting my program with the comments. I am providing three single line comments. If I want to make these comments as multi-line, I have to simply remove these single line comments. And wherever we want to end them, I can end it like this. So this is a multi-line comment. Then comes a preprocessor directive. So here we are using the hash include preprocessor directive, which is including standard input output header file. Here comes the main function. The return type for this main function is void. So there is no need to provide any return zero statement at the end of this function. Inside this main function, I'm declaring a few float variables. So my first variable is BS, that is for storing basic salary. TA is for storing traveling allowance. DA is for adherence allowance, HRA is for housing rental allowance, and finally it's GS, that is for storing the gross salary. Here I'm giving a message to the user for entering the basic salary. By making use of scanf function, we are accepting the value of the basic salary. So as we know that the data type for basic salary is float, so while accepting it, I have to make use of %f. And one by one, we'll be calculating the values of all the allowances. So here I'm starting with the value of TA. As we know that TA is 4.5% of the basic salary. So 4.5% of basic salary is nothing but 4.5 into BS. BS is for basic salary divided by 100. Similarly, for DA, it is 14.7% of basic salary. So we are using the same format. 14.7 into basic salary divided by 100. And as we can see here, HRA is 7.4% of basic salary. So the formula goes like this. After calculating these values, we know that GS, that is gross salary, is equal to basic salary plus these allowances. So I'm adding them. Here on the next line, I'm trying to print the values of all the allowances first. That is TA, DA, HRA. And finally, we are printing the gross salary. So after completing the program, let's save the code first. Then we can go to execute option and compile the code. As we can see here, this program has zero errors, zero warnings. We can go back to execute and run the code. Now to make it simple, let's say the basic salary is 10,000. So as per the formula, we can say the value of TA is 450. The value of DA is 1470. The value of HRA is 740. And finally, the value of gross salary is 12,660. If you want to limit these values to two digits after the decimal point, we can provide point to everywhere let's save the code compile it now again it has zero error zero warnings and run the code let's have the same value 10,000 and here we can see the values but now as we have provided point to F it is limiting two digits after the decimal point.